boy J. Mitch going live. I really don't go live. It's your boy J. Mitch going live from the 215. No viewers, but it's all good. I'm trying something a little different. Um, but I just wanted to share uh, another build overview of my Arma Limitless. I have made more upgrades, and I'm sorry if anyone's going to chat. I can't talk back right now. But it is what it is. I just want to show y'all the car and show y'all what I had going on. I do have um, a new Biddy Designs body for the car. I saw the Biddy Designs uh, body up in um, RC Discount. I had to have it, um, and I got the I cut the body so quick that the wheel wells um, aren't like really in a good you know they're not really good shape around the uh, wheels, but. The color on it is immaculate. It's not just white. It's a pearl white. If I get real close in there, you can see that flake in the paint. It is a beautiful build, man. It is so nice. Um, but yeah, I can't stop upgrading and moving and changing this car around. It's a it's a beast, man. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all because I was going to make a whole video. I said, let me try something different. Let's try to go live and show y'all what I had going on. So yeah, just give y'all a view of the body. And then also what I want to do is show y'all this new front splitter I got. I ordered the front splitter from a guy on Facebook, um, Alex. Try to get some light on it. Alex, um, I got it from Alex, uh, from Alex RC Tuning and um, RC Repairs. I'm going to leave his information in the description of my video. You guys seen his, his uh, work on Facebook. Um, he's selling these lips for like $55 and you can also get them in different lengths and you can also get them in different finishes. You can get a flat finish or you can get a glass finish, but I went with the glass on mine because that thing is hitting. Uh, anyway, I just want to show y'all the other updates I've done to the Limitless. Uh, Biddy Design also makes a foam bumper. As you can see, I hacked mine up pretty good. Um, so but it, it doesn't come like this i hack mine up to fit my body um so that's why it's looking like that um also i made some additional updates to the car uh shout out to rad shit friend man i watched his video um so i got um i got i got the uh perfect pass on the car now um, i'm trying to give that a shot and also i did upgrade to the dual uh antenna futaba receiver um, I've always ran Futaba, but I never uh, thought about running the dual antenna. Um, also, um, I am running a gyro. Shout out to Raz again. Um, I'm ne not really a gyro person, but I did build a drag car, and I normally do run a gyro in a drag car. But because I'm not dragging this season, I had the gyro sitting on the shelf and decided to give it a shot on a speed run car. And I actually did two speed runs a day three speed runs today and the gyro ran perfect i'm gonna post those videos uh tomorrow or maybe just make one big video um also what else we have going on with the car um i'm running scorched rc i didn't change anything else besides that be, be, since the other build overview um but i'll just go through the car and let you guys see what we got going on running the scorched rc uh top brace chassis brace i'm running the scorched rc chassis on the car um i'm running the scorched rc roto lock um motor mount down there um i'm also running the scorched rc dolphin spool and running the uh, scorched rc titanium um dry shafts on the car uh it's, it's really really a nice setup so yeah um oh i guess i'll tell you about the rest of the electronics you already know though i'm running the savox servo running the tp 2200 and i'm running the xlx2 I will say one thing about this XLX2. You do not need a cat pack with this XLX2. Let me tell you. When I say I looked at my data logs earlier, um, my ripple was under two volts. And the only reason I think I had a high ripple is because this car is severely overgeared. It's so overgeared. If I told you what the gear was, let's just say it's geared for almost 300 miles an hour. Let's just say that. It's geared for about 300 miles an hour, and it's never going to hit that. That's why I only got to 146 and only had about 41,000 RPM. It, it's, that's two-thirds of the RPM. So, you know, it's not going to – with this gearing, it's not going to work. So we're going to make do some, some change into the gearing there. Um, but I'm learning, just like everyone else. Um, so, 
yeah, I just wanted to go live and show this car and do show you guys a little something. And also, you know what I, else I wanted to do? I wanted to give a little appreciation because there's a lot of people that support me and there's a lot of people that come to me and ask questions. Let me tell you, the first person in this hobby to ever support me was the homie Henry Ford. OG said, don't use a gyro, set your car up to go straight. And I did that for a long time. And um, I think I still stand by that. If you can set the car up to go straight, you do not need a gyro. But if the gyro is available, why not try? Why not give it a try? I'm not mad at you if you do or you don't. Um, but that's up to you. Um, so I got to shout out Henry for it. Uh, the first first person to take me under my under his wings. If you look at my first speed run videos with the rustlers and the slash four by four, and he saw that slash four by four, I think by the second slash four by four speed run, I think I crashed it. Yo, he hit me up and said, "Yo, Jay Mitch, I gotta we gotta talk, man. You, we gotta get you together. We gotta get you straightened up." And I swear, he called me every day, and we talked. He would call me in the morning while on my way to work, and he up in Canada. He called me, and we just talked, and he said, Jay, you're doing it wrong. You got to do it like this. And, I mean, he hooked me up. And then he he, he hooked me up with uh, Philip Jolly. Shout out to Philip Jolly. He's another person that's been a big help to me and a big influence. Um, let me tell you guys, none of these people directly gave me cheat codes. They, they showed me where I was going wrong and how to set up my car. I never asked anybody directly for gearing. Hey, what's the gearing? What's the gearing? And I think that's one of the reasons why I don't like giving out gearing because I like to see people try and I like people to experiment with things. And just giving you gearing, you're not going to learn from that. That's like, that's like going to the supermarket and buying some steak. But you don't really know how to go out and kill a cow and butcher up that steak. That's kind of like how people look at RCs with this gearing stuff. So I understand where people come with the gearing. Um, so it's like people like Raz, I got to shout him out. He's he's giving everybody a jump off point. You know, he's he's moving the hobby forward by giving people a jump off point somewhere to start. But it's still people doing 192, 193. Like, okay, you could do 150, but go and do 193. Let me tell you, it's a difference when you're going from 100 miles an hour to 130 miles an hour to 150 miles an hour, all the way up to those numbers. It is a big difference. 100 miles an hour is like nothing. When you start going 130, it's a big difference. And people just, people, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy, trust me. A beginner just buying one of these cars and trying to go 150 miles an hour, like, nah. Nah, I'm just telling you, nah, I mean, you could build it and do it, but it's not as easy as these guys who are veterans make it look. It's not as easy as um, uh, Raz makes it looks or J Flow or Phil or anybody. I mean, you really still have to know how to drive your car at that speed. You could make you could build the car to go as fast as you want, but you have to know how to drive your car point blank, period. I'm preaching and I'm sorry I do that shit. I apologize. And I'm apologizing because I can't respond back to the chat because I'm doing this on my phone. But I'll take a look at the comments and respond. But the most important thing people are so worried about going fast, you got to know how to set up your car and you got to know how to drive your car. Or else you're going to put all this money into a build and crash your car and won't even meet your goal. Learn how to drive first before you talk about putting 6S and 8S in gears and stuff like that. Tell me how you, you know how to drive your car. Make some videos of your car going straight, going 100 miles an hour. Do a couple of those passes and then work your way up gradually. Don't come in this shit thinking the first day you are gonna go 150 miles an hour and your car gonna be all right. Cause I, there's a lot of guys that come through Adam's Hobby Shop with their cars, I see them every day. Every time I'm there, there's guys that give me, build me one of these. They'll build them, and then the next day they come back and they're crashed. And then there's these guys who wanna make 12S Typhons. Like, what are you gonna do with a 12S Typhon, dude? You don't even know how to drive a 6S Typhon. You talking about a 12S Typhon. Like, come on, man. And I just try to shut up because I try to support all those um people but i when i see people like that i try to tell them hey dude don't do that start off with success or i like to instead of telling them because you know you can't tell a grown man anything i ask them hey why do you want to do a 12s do you understand what success does do you understand what 8s does do you even understand what 4s does how fast have you been 
you want to go from an RTR Typhon and then go put a 12S setup in it and then don't even know what kind of ESC to put in it. Like, it's crazy, man. All right, I'm talking too much. I do that. I'm on my soapbox. I never go live, but, you know, it's nice to be able to talk to people sometime and let them know how I really feel about things. What I really, really feel about things is learn how to drive your car before you go fast. It's steps. You didn't come out your mom's womb and graduate from college in 10 days. You Same thing with RC cars. You ain't going to do that shit. You're not going to get a limitless and go 150 miles an hour and know how to drive your car. You are not going to do that. I'm sorry. I don't care who you are. Um, you you got to put in some effort. You got to do this shit every day. You got to do something RC every day and learn it every day. People doing this stuff don't even know how to tune diffs. Don't even know how to, you know, people want to want you to build their shit for them. And they don't really understand what goes on in the car. You have to understand your car. In my in my world, I feel like you need to understand your car. If you want to pay me 1500 to build your car, I can build your car for you. But guess what? If you crash it, don't bring it back to me. That's on you, dog. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's on you. Like, I, I could build it for you, but you have to know how to drive it. And that's what's really important. I really think that's what the game's missing. People don't know that. Learn how to drive your car. Drive first. Then figure out how 6S works. Then figure out how 8S works. Then figure out how 10 and 12S works. Like, these cars don't need more than 8S, man. This guy's going 193 on 8S. Like, why are you doing 12S, man? For what? I guess you could do whatever the hell you want. It's your money. Do what you want. You know what I mean? Like, hey, whatever. All right, your boy's talking too much. I'm sorry. I do that. I do that. Let's get back on topic. I just want to shout out everybody who supports me, man. There's so many folks. There's so many dope guys in this hobby. There's so many dope up-and-coming guys. There's so many dope guys that's in their own lane, got their own stuff established. I just want to say thank you to all y'all. Like, besides the people I always shout out, man, Dave Hubbard, my, my homie Big Willie, who I met through uh henry ford um my homie ted who used to work at rc discount but he's ted and ted is the master mechanic everywhere like ted like yo you see ted run ted does everything and ted is like if you have a vision and you're not quite sure on how to build it ted will make your dream come true he won't tell you no like i will he will say all right i'm gonna do it like this he'll make it look like it was meant to be built that way and it will be functional. So I got a major shout out to Ted. Um, shout out to Adam at RC Discount. Yo, there's a lot of dope hobby shops in the area. You got Adam's RC Discount. You got RC Misfits. Shout out to them. Um, you got the shop over in Jersey. Um, RC Car World. Um, you got Park Lane Hobbies. Um, you got Tiny Adventures. You got so many dope RC uh, places in the area. The first hobby shop I started at was um, um, Hobby Hut. They shut down. I love them. Uh, but when I found RC Discount, I found home, man. RC Discount had the TPs on the shelf. You want to go to a store where they got the shit on the shelf or they could get it. They had the TPs on the shelf. They had the XLXs on the shelf. When TPs first came out, they had the XLXs and TPs on the shelf. They had Cordovas. They had Steve News. He had new on the shelf. I'm like, that joint just look, that, that's just a black motor. Like, who runs those? Who Who's doing that? Like, I didn't even know what a Steve New motor was, but Steve New is like, yo, Steve New is like the, the, the top tier motor person in the game. Adam had that shit way back. So I, 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 I majorly shout out Adam because, look, Adam supports me 100%. I don't get free freebies for him from him, but he hooks me up with whatever I need. He got me. Also, um, you know, shout out to all the RC stores in the area. Um, shout out to the homie Gap Reviews. Shout out to True, True Boys. Shout out to Coach. Um, shout out to um, uh, Deontay. Uh, Deontay, my bad about the couple weeks ago, we tried to get a live. I want, I definitely want to get a live. I like to do a live with all y'all one day. I like to pull up and we could just wrench together and I could talk that shit with y'all, man. Um, who else, who else I want to shout out? Shout out to my man, Dave Dalmas. Yo, if you, if, if you have a FLIR ESC in your car, nine times out of 10, you got it from Dave Dalmas. 
He is the man over there on the West Coast. Shout out to Dave, man. That's the homie for real. High Vault RC. Check out his YouTube channel. Check out his page. Uh, shout out to Brian Caldo uh, for WFO. He does the x Max stuff. He got some dope armor stuff coming. I'm waiting for some dope armor stuff from you, Brian. I'm looking for that for my uh, my Creighton 8S. Um, so shout out to them. Um, who else can I shout out? Shout out to Roger Jackson. Yo, Roger Jackson down there in the DMV. Like, yo, you talk about an OG. Like, if you don't know Roger, come on, man. You better reach out. He got a dope YouTube channel, too. Check him out. Um, who else? I got to shout out J-Flow. J-Flow, um, you know, um, uh, the, the cat packs are amazing. Fuck with J-Flow, man. Uh, I'm shouting out all these big name people, but there's a lot of people that people don't know that are, that are, that really rock with me. my man, Terrell Mason. That's the homie for real. Um, yo, the RC club, I first started uh, running with him here in Philly. Um, uh, death row boys, shout out to them, man. Shout out to Charlie president, the prez, um, shout out to dip. Um, he has a group outcast RC on Facebook. Shout out to Revo Reese. That's the homie for real. Um, yo. Major, major shout out to Rodney Satterfield. If you don't know who Rodney Satterfield, yo, if it wasn't for Rodney Satterfield, dude, I wouldn't even have any fifth scales. Yo, Rodney Satterfield's 5B, check it out. I'm going to leave a link in the description to that. Rodney Satterfield 5B, I seen that shit, and that shit made me want to get a 5B. And you know, I had my 5B since like 2017. He was doing fifth scale brushless builds like at least two years before I got mine. And yo, yo, me and Rodney so cool. When I first when I first wanted a 5B, I reached out to him. He wasn't in the hobby. Um, he helped me out a little bit, but he kind of like, we had a, a short, you know, back and forth and he was gone. But, yo, he got back in the hobby strong last year, and me and him been rocking hard, man. So, shout out to Rodney Satterfield, man. F you know, fifth scales, MCDs, vectors, um, all that all that brushless shit, I got it from him. I'm running 12 to 16S. He running 21 and 22S now. So, shout out to him. Shout out to the boy Elbert Mack. Um, shout out to Barry Gamble painting. Shout out to my homie... Um, uh, 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 Chris Sears, you want a dope paint job? You want a dope? You want, you don't just want a paint job. You want a piece of art? You reach out to fucking Chris Sears. If you could get on this schedule. Cause I mean, yo, it was a time you could get a body whenever you wanted from Chris, but guess what? Um, now he paint when he feel like it, man. I ain't gonna hold you. He straight tell you no, like the, the, the my mental health. I can't paint right now. And then he'll call you when he got something special for you. But you want a you want a, a a a boutique paint job, something that nobody else has, and you want dope customer service, and you willing to wait for the perfect body. This guy will talk to you, meet with you three or four times before he puts a speck of paint on your car and paint it to exactly what you want. So I made a shout out to to uh, Chris, and I'm not just shouting him out because he's a dope painter on Facebook. Yo, Chris will just hit me up. We won't even talk about RCs. He won't be trying to sell me nothing. I might not be trying to get a body painted. He'll just hit me up and we'll rap for like two or three hours about shit. So major shout out to Chris Sears. Shout out to Paul Coleman. You know, the fucking the MCD that I did a couple of videos for uh, before. And the VEC that I'm trying to sell, I got both of them from Paul Coleman. If you don't know who Paul Coleman is, Paul Coleman, like, you heard of, um, you heard, you heard of uh, uh, Offner? Right? Guess what? He was the man at Offna before it became Habao. Uh, you heard of Axial? Sh check, talk to Paul. Paul is a beast in this game, and he's a brother. So I really, really respect that. You got to know your RC history, guys. Reach out to Paul Coleman. Hit him up. He probably going to be mad. Um, he probably racing or doing something. But when I first met Paul, dude, Dope, dope guy, man. I, this was supposed to be, a, I know it's supposed to, supposed to be about the limitless build, man, but this is just turning into a shout out vid, man, because it's so many, the community is so real and so deep, and it's a lot of dope, dope guys, man, and I, I, I feel bad because I can't fit everybody in the shout out, so, like, shout out to Mr. Brushless. I talked about Rodney Satterfield, Mr. Brushless? 
Yo, Mr. Brushes don't even make any videos about one eighth cars. He make all his videos is about one fifth brushless shit, and he's a dope dude. And he holler at me ev like every day, like he the homie, man. You should see, yo, you should see my messenger inbox. And what I say about the RC community is, even before COVID, I felt like the RC community on Facebook started replacing a lot of my real friends in real life because we had so much in common and people really cared about the hobby and really wanted to help you out and really, really was interested in getting to know a lot about me and just talking every day just became real, real tight. You know what I mean? Like, and Mr. Brushes is one of those guys. David Dalmas is one of those guys. Dave Hubbard, for sure. That's my bro. That was my first, my first homie on in the RC Facebook game. Yo, who else can I shout out? Yo, shout out to Zach Francisco. Come on, man. Y'all know what Zach doing. Y'all know what he doing. I'm gonna leave a link to his Facebook page. Yo, he got an X Max. He on them hills. You know, he trying, he trying to get them numbers on the X Max. He's got a dope Typhon right now. Yo. So I got to definitely shout him out. Shout out to Zach, man. Um, damn, I can't think of his Facebook page name off the top, and that's my fault. Um, but me and him go back and forth in the chat all the time. He'll, yo, before he even posts a video on YouTube, he'll, he'll send me the whole fucking video in the fucking chat, and I'm watching it. You know what I mean? So we, we yo, that's the homie for real. So shout out to Zach. Shout out to Elbert Mack. Come on, man. Elvert with the MCDs. Who else you know doing a comparison between a flare setup and an MGM setup? Elvert on the MCD. Elvert is a fucking mastermind. So shout out to him. You gotta you gotta talk to Elvert. Elvert's the dope guy on Facebook. Um, who else? Who else do we know out there? Um, it's just too many. It's too many. Um, Mike Temple. Come on, Mike Temple with the China Hobby Line connection. And dope speed runs, 4S runs. Yo, he putting up numbers on 4S parallel that people are struggling to do on 8S. He doing 130, 140 miles an hour on 4S lipos, 3S lipos. Like, who who doing that? You know what I mean? I already know I said I shout out Philip Jolly. That's the homie. Like, Phil, y'all know Phil. Yo, Phil, like, come on, man. That Yo, Phil... Like he's the he's the person that consistently runs 150s, 160s, any car 160. You know, I, I tried to get him with that 3S Typhon. We, if you look back when that 3S Typhon first dropped, like he posted his 100 mile per hour Typhon, and then I think I posted mine the next day. Like that's how close we were with that Typhon, and we weren't in competition, but yo, that's how dope that guy is. And I think that's one thing about this hobby is you can, if if you had the basic skills and the and the skill set to to build and dream things, you can make it happen. That three S Typhoon when it first came out, when I first saw it, I said that shit. I'm making my shit go 100 miles an hour right now. And Phil must have been thinking the same thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, shout out to Philip, man. Shout out to Philip. He also that my first Serpent 977 that I never run because I'm scared I can't replace it. Got it from Phil. Gave me a dope deal on it. I will never sell that serpent. I might do a video on it. I ran it once, and I think I ran it like in less than 300 feet, and it hit 103 miles an hour. You talk about something's fast. That thing. That's probably that thing is like ridiculous. So shout out to him. Shout out to my local people, man. Shout out to El Coljo. Shout out to Chop. Big Chop. Shout out to you, Chop. Um. It, it's it's man it's too many too many too many dope people in the hobby man and I, I can't name everybody man but it is just too too many yo shout out to danny danny lou from d's creation what dan how you don't know danny lou how you yo how do you have if you're doing anything in the fifth scale game if yo danny with team vitavine yo danny came out with this custom this sweet this sweet infraction, but I knew him before that. We would I love Nero's. Nero's like one of my favorite cars. 
he hit me up about a Nero I was selling, a phase on. He bought the phase on. We've been homies ever since. He did that infraction. He sent me pictures of that, of that infraction before he posted it up. Y'all know which infraction I'm talking about. Everybody's still trying to buy that infraction. Next thing I know, he's doing something else. He, he didn't even have a shop. He was putting shit together on his floor. Then he converted this whole garage into a damn shop. And now he's partnering with Team Vitavine. He's, he's designing parts for Team Vitavine. Like, who does that? Team Vitavine? Yo, come on. Y'all know who Team Vitavine is, right? He, yo, he's, I can't, yo, he's a fucking mastermind. He's a fucking genius. These are dope people that everybody don't know. Y'all need to get on y'all Facebook and get to know them or get to know me in another way. And I'll be helping. I'll be happy to connect y'all to folks and I'll be happy to help you out as much as I can. I'll, and it's a difference between me helping you and me giving it away. Help is when you have a problem and you ask me about it. Giving it away is when you just tell me, hey, what gear should I use? That's not helping you. That's giving it away. A better question is, hey, I'm doing 110. How do I get to 120? Like, that's how you kind of get these guys to open up. You let people know what your problem is, be, and, and then they help you out. Don't just say, uh, you know, what gear should I use? And don't keep on asking dumb, the same questions over and over again. Like, yo, what radio should I use? What radio should I use? Yo, use Futaba. Stop fucking with that Spectrum shit. Stop playing with me, man. If you, if you bashing, okay. If all you're doing is bashing, Fuck with the Spectrum shit. But if you own multiple, multiple RCs and you do bashing and speed running, ditch the Spectrum and get you a fucking Futaba. Spend the fucking money. Spend the money. Get a Futaba. Why you, yo, who you know doing 150 miles an hour with a Spectrum? Who you know doing that? Besides Mike Temple. Mike Temple's doing it. He's a fucking mad genius. But besides him, the most of the speed runners are using Futaba. Just letting you know that. And there's a reason for that. It's just not by accident. You can't be cheap. If you're going to really be in it, be in it to win it. Stop wasting your money. I'm telling you, I'll waste my money being cheap so many times with cheap ass chargers and cheap tools. Spend the money. If you ask me a question, I'm going to tell you what you need to buy. Buy that. But what about this? No. What do you mean? What about that? that that's not it, dude. That's not it. All right talking too much again and this supposed to be more shout outs who else who else am i missing <laughs> yo who else am i missing um yo yo i mean it's them dmv boys it's too many yo the speed run game like without the dmv could you imagine that fuck no you can't you can't have the speed run game without the dmv yo speed running started in the dmv so shout out to all the people in the dmv um, who else? Shout out to Diz. Diz built on Facebook. Yo, Diz got the dopest, uh, some of the dopest, dopest um, auctions on Facebook. I love his auction style because it ain't that robot shit. I don't trust the computer spins and all that. I don't like that, man. Like, to me, like, you know, it was a cheat. Some of them was a cheat. My homie put me onto it. There's some stuff I won back in the day. My my buddy told me how to, how to beat them. I don't know if it's the same way, but my buddy said, "This yo, join this one, pick this number, pick these three numbers, and you're going to hit on one of them. And more than half the time that I did that, I did. So just telling you, that the fix is in. But Diz, I like how Diz puts his in the, you know, he got those chips, he put it in the bag, he physically draw them. I miss when moms used to do it, though. Moms, you, you, yo, I used to win more when your mom was drawing the names out the bag, man. Bring her back out the, out the, um, out the box, out the, uh, which, which, what box was that? The liquor box. Like, that was dope, man. Um, but now you try to get in one of his auctions, they be filled up by the time you're trying to get in there because his shit's so hot. So shout out to Diz. Um, <clears throat> excuse me who else um man just shout out to all the companies man shout out to arma i fucking love arma um shout out to Traxxas. i mean i'm i don't like what y'all did with arma i don't like how y'all you know I, I, I don't like how y'all did with arma but i understand y'all was making this money and i that arma you know they basically did they they copied y'all at when i was in it when it first happened like 
you know, it was like, no, it was just this. It was just that. No, they basically took a E Revo and put twin ver- vertical plate chassis and took the fucking differential locking mechanism and put that on their car. They did. They did that. That was a dope car. I wish y'all could have worked that out a different way. Because imagine a Nero right now. Imagine a 8S Nero right now. I go around collecting Neros, man. I, I think I have three three working Neros right now, and I have like maybe two in parts. Yo, I love buying Neros. So shout out to Arma, shout out to Traxxas, man. And and some of the Traxxas stuff, like y'all y'all like fucking the X Max, the Max. Those are like my favorite Traxxases. Like everything else, eh, eh. Eh, you can give it a take or whatever. Shout out to Habao. I don't really have nothing with y'all, but really, you know, you know, it's stupid. You know what bothers me about Habao is the fucking name. I just don't like the name. Sounds like I don't know. Remember when Samsung first came out? Like it kind of sounded like bootlegish. So that, that's what Habao. But I know Habao was oftener. So I get it, but. Habao, the name just turns me off. But the Habao's is crazy. Yo, the Habao's, if you drag racing, yo, get you a fucking Habao VT. Stop playing. Get you a VTE. Stop playing. 250 bucks for a roller and you in the game, you got a contender, stop playing. Get that. You, If you doing one A scale GT, get you a Habao. Um, who else? Serpent. I fucking love Serpent. Um... I already said Arma. You know, Arma is definitely my favorite brand, man. Uh, Team Corali, yo, Team Corali. I don't hate. I don't hate Team Corali. I where, what I feel about Team Corali. Team Corali reminds me of where Arma was when Arma first came out. They just trying to find their way. They trying to find their way, and they will. These first two versions, eh, yeah. You know, y'all got to figure out some things with the differentials. Y'all got to figure out some things with the chassis protection. Um, y'all got to figure out the, I mean, the discs are really like, the discs are really just crazy. And, you know, people think something's wrong with the electronics. There's nothing wrong with the electronics. What it is is the final diff ratio in, in the um, Team Corrales. Uh, is was making, is, is put is too much stress on the, on that motor and ESC combo. So it's the diff ratio. They're, they're, uh, I can't think of what it is off the top, but I know it's different from Arma's. So all their cars, diff ratios uh, are like how the uh, Typhon is. So they're running like a Typhon diff ratio across their whole range. That's why their little stunt truck is crazy. Yo, that little stunt truck they got, the Jumbo, whatever. Yo, that thing is crazy, dude. I was working on one for Adam. I took that shit outside, man. I was having so much fun. That shit was that thing was doing backflips on 4S. It was a monster. It was so fun, man. I broke it. I broke it. I ain't gonna hold you, man. I had I had did the work for Adam and I took that shit outside and I busted like the chassis brace and all that. But that's when I started seeing all the weaknesses, like the towers and like the little bracing, all that bracing they have in there, like all that plastic stuff is cheap. It's it's fragile, it'll break. Y'all got some more engineering to do on that. But I believe y'all will get there. I'll 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 still support y'all. That XTR is dope. I love the XTR. Chronos, love it. The 7075 stuff y'all did with that, love it. Yo, but my favorite team Corrali was my stretched Python. Like that thing was dope, man. And um I still have it, still trying to move it. Um, but I did make it RTR. Um, and, uh, somebody suggested, Hey, you want to sell it? You got to make it RTR. Nobody's just going to buy it as a roller. I get it. So I made it RTR. It's got the stock set up in it with stock differential. Got it up for sale for 450 or 500, uh, trying to get it. So if y'all interested, hit me up. Let me know. Um, what else? Um, yo, what, what else we got going on? Uh, who, who else I want to shout out? Yo, my favorite systems. Yo, I snatched all my RTR systems come out the car. Castle, automatic, Castle, six, six S setup, Castle 2200 sensor combo, 8S setup, XLX2 with a 1650 KV or uh, 1100 KV or 800 KV, automatic, automatic. Any car I get, you guaranteed. If I don't, if it's not a speed runner, that's what it's going to get. What you think is in my Talion? My Talion EXB. As soon as I got it, I didn't even run it on a stock crack. Took that shit out. Put the castle stuff in. Easy. You know, my Technos, I put 
the castle stuff in automatically, the Mugen castle stuff. I don't put it in there for no reason. It's top quality stuff. You can go 100 miles an hour on the stock castle setup. So you guys don't want to go 100 miles an hour if you just got a spool, got a castle 2200 setup, you can go 100 miles an hour tomorrow. That's why I say start there and then work your way up. Um, so shout out to Castle, shout out to TP, shout out to New, um, just shout out to everybody, man. I, I, I think I've exhausted this video, man. If I, if y'all let me keep going, I'll keep going. This is my video, so I can keep going. So you either with me right now, or you're not. Um, so yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a go ahead and end it, man. If you need me for anything, holler at me. I'll say thank you all for supporting your boy. And if I forgot to shout you out, my bad. It's just too many of y'all. Shout out to Jotty. I don't know, Jotty. He don't even, I don't even know if he have any RCs left. Jotty's a dope brother, man. Uh, if you don't know him, get to know him. Dope guy. Um, it's just too many. It's too many people. Too, too many people. Too many influencers. The point is, like, the community is dope. The community is large. Let's keep the hate out of it. Let's keep embracing and helping each other. Let's stop with the stupid ass questions, though. How about how about we try to do some research? A little bit of research, a little bit of Google, you know, a little bit of searching the Facebook forums. Um, that would be dope. That would be dope. That would be really, really great. Like if you did that before you ask the same questions all the time. All the time. And now with the speed runs, you could just go watch Raz's videos. He done gave you. He gave you the keys to build a 150 mile per hour car. What else you want? Why y'all trying to do speed runs with hobby wings? Yo, why do I see why somebody asked me, yo, can I do a if I ran a max five and a TP, you think I can get 160 miles an hour? I, I'm not saying you can't, but you see everybody else using castle. Why would why the hell would you use a hobby wing? What's wrong with you? Like, what's wrong with you? I get it. You want to be different, but you got to start where you you got to see what other people are doing. You want to be different. You could be different all you want, but you got to go with the tried and true. Go with the tried and true before you try to be different. Sometimes, sometimes everybody, nine times out of 10, they using an XLX or an XLX2 or MMX8S or uh, MMX. I don't see it like 98.9% of people who are doing speed runs are doing it with Castle. Don't ask me about no hobby wing. I I never I didn't never even try to do a speed run with a hobby wing. But go ahead and try it. What's gonna happen is is you're gonna hit a fail safe. At some point, the hobby wing is built to protect itself. So you're gonna hit a, a limiter at some point when it gets to a certain amount of amps. It's going to cut off. It's going to start doing that stuff to you where it's going to stop giving you power. The car is going to start stuttering. You're going to think something's wrong with your car. No, it's the it's the limiter of the RC. It's the safety. It's the safety valve on all, on, on all those hobby wings. And that's why a lot of speed runners don't use them. The castles thresholds are higher. And if you get that XLX, you could turn the limitations off all the way. But you could if you if you could if you could go crazy with a castle it's gonna keep going it'll keep going and it has a limit to it they have a cutoff too but you can set the cutoff it's a much higher threshold than what's on the hobby wings but hobby wings a dope combo man hobby wings and your know, max 5 800 kv 1100 kvs and those x maxes yo my x max with that combo was crazy so yeah i do say uh for that kind of stuff for bashing all day hobby wing r run with it Run the fifth scale hobby wing combo. Run the eight S combo. You know what I mean? Run the little twenty two hundred, you know, combo in your joint. It's not to me, it's not gonna be as powerful as a castle, but I'm a castle guy, man. Um, come on, castle. Y'all y'all hey, y'all can sponsor your man. Come on, come on, send me something for free, please. Nah. I always say that. Maybe one day y'all hook me up, hook me up with a discount or something. But yeah. Um, shout out to ZTW. I know it's hit or miss with the ZTWs with a lot of folks. Um, but I've had so many of them and I think only lost the one that I made a video about. I made, I said confessions of a ZCW blowing. Yeah, finally did. I was a ZCW fanboy. Uh, and I still am. I still will buy more ZTWs. Um, but you know, 
I'm not, yo, the Flare is definitely more capable, um, but the Flare doesn't have that BEC built in. The ZTW does. So to me, if you only need 12S and you're going to stay under 800 KV, get the ZTW. If you want to go nutty, get this, get the Flare. You know what I mean? So that's up, that's up to you. And if you got the money, go MGM. If you got the money, go MGM. Uh, you know, uh, MGM combo was what, seventeen, eighteen hundred 1800 bucks for the motor and the ESC. Yo, the FLIR ESC, the 16S ESC is like 270 bucks, 250, 270 bucks. Like, and it's nine, it does nine tenths of the performance of the, of the MGM. And it's less complex than the MGM. But, you know, do what you want. I, I have an MGM and I love it. But, you know, unless it was a good deal on one, I'll probably just keep buying flares if I need to do 16S or 21S or whatever, whatever. So that's me. All right, your boy's talking too much. I'm going to go ahead and end it. Thank you if you watched this video this long. I definitely appreciate you hanging in there with me. Um, I'll respond to the comments. And um, I'm going to go ahead and end it and stay, you know, look forward to my Limitless videos. I'm going to post those uh, tonight or tomorrow. And y'all be good now. Peace. Oh, I'll turn this thing off.